Well, hello there. Today we are going to watch a classic TV series called Dragnet, a show that I'm sure most of our listeners are familiar with. Dragnet is known far and wide as one of the best TV series to ever hit the air. So today, we are going to reminisce and watch the series again with the entire cast of Then and Now. We will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors from the show, and how they changed in 2023. Okay, let's check it out together. Ben Alexander was born on June 27, 1911, in Goldfield, Nevada. He played the character officer Frank Smith in the series when he was 41 years old in 1952. Sadly, on July 5, 1969, Alexander died of a heart attack at his home in Westchester, California, at the age of 58. P.M. Coroner says she died about 10.30. You're not even sure there was a man with her, are you? Yeah. The woman who was next door to the murder room. She told us she heard a man and woman arguing. That was about 10 o'clock. Said got... Barney Phillips was born on October 20, 1913, at St. Louis, Missouri. He played the character Sergeant Ed Jacobs in the series when he was 38 years old in 1951. Sadly, on August 17, 1982, Phillips died of cancer at the Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 68. That's your friend, Thomas Ashley. Ashley? What about him? We think you remember it nine months ago, the parking lot back of the building down on 4th Street. Oh, yeah, surely. Some hold-up man slugged him, stole his case of samples. I... Herb Butterfield was born on October 28, 1895, in Providence, Rhode Island. He played the character Lieutenant Lee Jones in the series when he was 56 years old in 1951. On May 2nd, 1957, Butterfield died in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 61. I over sat on the Davenport right where I am now. Mm -hmm. She was standing there in the doorway to the kitchen. She said something and set me off. I guess I got pretty mad and said a few things. Then she went. Jack Webb was born on April 2nd, 1920, in Santa Monica, California. He played the character Sergeant Joe Friday in the series when he was 31 years old in 1951. Sadly, on December 23, 1982, Webb died of an apparent heart attack in West Hollywood, California, at the age of 62. woman checked in last night around 8 o'clock. She registered as John Ross in Life, L.A. Anyone see the man with her? No, nobody. The room clerk says a woman came in alone, said her husband was parking. Eight or nine years of age and during the rather bad end of the 20s, 1929, during the Depression, I was raised by two women. So they used to send me to the movies while they did jobs. Dorothy Abbott was born on December 16, 1920, in Kansas City, Missouri. She played the character Ann Baker in the series when she was 33 years old in 1953. Sadly, on December 15, 1968, Abbott died from suicide in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 47. I'm not a policeman, Joe, but I heard Creasy and Stewart talking about the robbery call, what Frank said about the dead body report and the shooting. Barton Yarbrough was born on October 2nd, 1900, in Goldthwaite, Texas. He played the character of Sergeant Ben Romero in the series when he was 51 years old in 1951. Sadly, on December 19th, 1951, Yarbrough died of a heart attack in Burbank, California, at the age of 51. Brown? Yes, he's an expert detective. Brown? You wouldn't mean Thad Brown? No, Father Brown. Father Brown? I didn't know you had your... Olin Sol was born on February 28, 1909, in La Harpe, Illinois. He played the character Ray Pinker in the series when he was 43 years old in 1952. Sadly, on February 1, 1994, Sol died of lung cancer at the home of his daughter in Corona, California, at the age of 84. Home, lipstick, keychain, one key on it, half package of chewing gum, Art Gilmore was born on March 18, 1912, in Tacoma, Washington. He played the character Captain Harry Didion in the series when he was 41 years old in 1953. He died of natural causes on September 25, 2010, at the age of 98. Suspects always drive a red Cadillac. Anything else on the car? No license number, but they all agree on one thing. What's that? It's an old model, red convertible. Before we wrap up this journey through the world of the Dragnet TV series, I want to hear from you. Who is your favorite character from the series? What's this thing that they have that it's so appealing to you? Share your thoughts and feelings in the comment section below, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you're always the first to know when new content is released. Your support and engagement mean the world to me. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane.